another video. I'm so excited for this video just to bring y'all along for kind of somewhat routine, but also not at all routine because newborn. Um, but basically our routine, a couple days in our life, like figuring out newborn routine, we are three and a half weeks in at this point and we definitely have a couple things that like we do every day for him. Um, but you also just never know if he's gonna be a fussy boy or a happy boy. It's so different every single day, but we're loving newborn life and wanted to bring y'all along for a couple days in our life this week. I'm about to go on a walk with little Arlo boy. The stroller is <laughs> ready to go. I just fed him so he's like kind of looking around a little milk drunk, but we're gonna go on a quick walk and then hopefully I can get him down for his morning morning afternoon nap it's actually noon now starting this video we didn't sleep like at all last night so i didn't start the vlog early this morning um and then i ran to coffee with some friends and him and he actually slept while we were there which was amazing but i'm gonna put him down for his nap and get some work done when i get back and then we'll bring you guys along for the rest of the day it's sunny today so i'm hoping to get outside and go on some longer walks with him my stitches are feeling so much better so we're able to get moving and grooving, but let's go on a little walk with a little man. One thing that I have been doing every day is having some fresh pressed juice because carrot juice, um, this is like beet, apple, lemon, ginger, carrot juice. It helps with your milk supply apparently if you drink it in the afternoon. I'm not sure why, but it's apparently like a milk supply hack and I love this juice from Whole Foods. I got stuff to start making it at home, so hopefully we'll do that in this video too. Um, but I'm going to drink this on our little walk. We're going to see people. <laughs> girl can't can't hang in that area but Casey's mom is amazing at that stuff so they made this little desk so I'm just working outside standing enjoying the fresh air drinking a kombucha and whenever he gets really fussy I just slip my sports bra off give him a little milk and he falls back asleep so it's a pretty good setup I love baby wearing if you're a mama or looking to gift a mama this carrier is Chico baby um, if I remember I'll try to link it in the description but they have like corduroy carriers and it is my favorite. It's so big and he's so little so it like perfectly covers him. Sometimes I'll put a shirt over if I'm like walking in the sun so it doesn't get sunburnt. Um, but I'm working for like another hour. He's like, you can see his hands like spazzing because he's like in and out of sleep. He's spazzy. So my friend Julia is going to stop by and we're going to have a little quick walk. Her daughter Riley is so cute. They're going to come by and we're going to go on like a 30 minute walk just to break up the day a little bit. Um, but I'm just going to keep working, enjoying this nice weather. Casey went to a coffee shop to get some work done because kind of when he's like this, I have to be in and out of feeding him so Casey can't help much anyway. So I was like, go get your focused work stuff done so that you can help me later by like cleaning the house or whatever when I'm feeding him. Um, when there's like more to do. So anyways, we're just ha having a very parent day. Because he's very fussy today, but that's okay because good days and bad days, and he's still the best. So, I'm just gonna keep working and then go on a fun little walk with Julia and Riley. And I think I'm gonna make a fun dinner tonight. I'm not sure what, but just a really nourishing, um, filling dinner because um, that sounds good. And I definitely have energy to cook tonight. So, that's kind of what the rest of the day looks like.
this is the reality of postpartum. <laughs> I literally have my breastfeeding pillow like strapped to me. This is called my breast friend is like the name of the pillow. It's amazing. It like straps to you and you tighten it and you feed them like sitting and working. I put another pillow like under it and he's fully like held up so I can like work while he's feeding. Still kind of have to like hold him, but it's so convenient. Last, in my last video there were comments like, this is not reality of postpartum, whatever, even though it was my reality and like I filmed obviously the moments that I had the camera on, not the moments I'm like laying around in pain, whatever. But I was like, you know what? We'll bring some more real and raw to the next vlog. So here's my... <laughs> My OOTD is I'm always wearing just a bra and shorts because I'm always breastfeeding and got my little pillow on. But I kind of had like, not a breakdown, but I just feel like really overwhelmed with the amount of like work things I have going on and him. Like he didn't sleep at all last night and like he's just been a little bit more difficult and colicky the past couple of days. I think something I ate must have bugged him. I don't know. It's hard with breastfeeding because you don't know like what's going on and what's bugging them. But um, usually this time of day until bedtime like 5 to 8 he pretty much eats like all day like the rest of the day like, He's just hungry that time and then helps him sleep good So I'm just like switching off feeding him letting him chill a little bit looking around then feeding him Until we have dinner one of my friends brought over um, a meal train meal today Which I didn't remember she was bringing it so I was gonna make dinner tonight But it's so much work so it's actually amazing that she brought food over she brought mongolian beef bowls like rice beef and then this like cucumber salad and she brought like a lemon cake thing too. So that was so sweet of her. Um, he's making his crazy sounds on the couch. So we're gonna have that for dinner, but I'm just gonna keep working and then we're gonna have a yummy dinner and watch our show tonight. I'm Solly baby, come here. We're gonna eat some more just a sec. You wanna say hi to everyone? Literally, this time of day. People call it witching hour, but he just wants to be on the boob, which I don't care, I love breastfeeding, but it's just hard sometimes when you're trying to get stuff done, especially when I'm trying to cook dinner. It's hard because I can't really like cook and feed him, obviously, but Casey can cook too. And we get like our Blue Apron Meal Kit subscription this week, so I'm so excited because they like save us postpartum because it like sends you all the ingredients you need to make dinners and stuff. But I'll make some of those recipes in other parts of this video, but I'm going to keep feeding him and keep working a little bit. Hey, Mr. Mister, I love you. And then um, we're going to have a cozy night. And I'm excited to bring you guys along for more of this week. It's Easter weekend this weekend, so I want to go get him little Easter basket stuff, even though he's a baby. He doesn't need an Easter, Easter basket, but I'm like, he's going to be one month old. Oh, I'm going to cry on Monday. And I just, like, want to do something fun for Easter because it's, like, his first holiday. So we're going to do something fun. Maybe we'll go to Marshall's tomorrow. I have some Marshall's gift cards because I have some returns from baby shower, so I need a return. So I'm like, maybe we'll go to Marshall's and do a little haul. Did you say hi? Grumpy, grumpy. He's actually been pretty chill this afternoon, not too grumpy. <gasps> Big yawn, yay. Okay, I'm gonna keep feeding him, but we'll see you guys for dinner and cozy evening. Day. Um, I'm just now making breakfast at noon because Arlo literally cluster fed from like 8 a.m. until now, which we love. He's a growing boy. I have this little ab um, separation 
thing on this little strap. It would not. Like now, it's to pull your abs back together after pregnancy, but now it like fits great. It's my sister-in-law's and I feel like it's helping. But a liter literally a week ago, I like couldn't even get it to Velcro. And you can see it's like now Velcro this much. Like I guess I was just way puffier from postpartum. It's crazy how much you still feel puffy, but everything just goes way down, like way quicker than you realize. Um, Casey, like I said, Arla was claustrophobic all morning. Like literally, I'm like, how do you eat so much? Like, or I hope my supply is enough. I don't know. But he was just like eating so much, like nonstop. So I was like, all right, you've been eating for four hours. I know you don't need it anymore. We've burped you. We've tried everything. Like he just acts colicky sometimes and like not all the time, but enough to where I'm like, okay, maybe I should cut out dairy or something. We're going to start experimenting. I don't know. I don't want to cut out dairy. I literally love it. It makes me like, I actually want to cry because I do not want to cut out dairy, but I'll do anything to keep breastfeeding my little baby, obviously. So it's fine. But, um, Anyways, he's literally driving Arlo around in the car because Arlo loves the car seat. And I know a lot of babies don't love the car seat, so I'm grateful he loves the car seat. But he's in the car seat with his sound machine in case he's driving around taking work calls and listening to a podcast while he drives Arlo. <laughs> Which is hilarious um, to me, but it's just enough so I can be like, okay, I need like 30 seconds to make breakfast and not be laying on the couch feeding him. So I'm making breakfast and I've been working on my phone most of the morning while I feeding, was feeding him. I got a sponsored post up. Um, post on Instagram, like stuff I needed to do, tech talks, and then a YouTube short of just things I already had that I needed to post. So other than that, for work, we're just filming today. I have to prep for a podcast and one for my book tomorrow, which is fun. And then I'm going to try to clean up the house really good while he naps today. I want to start going through some stuff in our closet. It's a rainy day. So I'm like, okay, purging our closet. It's the perfect day if he takes a good nap but he hasn't been taking a good nap so we'll see if he does he did on sunday it was amazing like he napped so long so we'll see if we can replicate that today um and put him down in his crib upstairs but for now let's make some breakfast and clean up the house tidy up just move our body a little bit because i've been laying on the couch for four hours with our little boy um he woke up almost every hour every other hour to feed last night but we were in bed from like 7 38 to almost nine this morning. So I still got some sleep, even though it was very like broken up. We did good, we did good for ourselves. Uh, but let's make some breakfast and tidy up this house real quick. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just wanna say that I feel is real Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal successfully got Arlo down for a nap and that's only the second time ever that I've like gotten him in his crib like down for a nap it's been like 10 minutes so we'll see if he stays asleep but right now he looks pretty sound asleep and he was like falling off me so tired when I was feeding him so wanted to show you guys a little package I got in the middle because this is like a not full circle like moment for me because it's just clothes but I am obsessed with Z Supply and I have reached out to them a couple times because I've been doing social media for years like the past year and a half to two years like seriously but they have gifted me stuff a couple times and they just sent a package that's literally so cute and I just feel so grateful when I get um anything from brands that a brand would want to send me I'm like thank you so much but also like that I get to do this for work and like make money but then that a brand like Z Supply that I've always like wanted to save up for stuff from what send me stuff it's just always like a whoa what like I'm so grateful moment obviously but this package was so cute so I wanted to show you guys what I got and if I can find this stuff on like to know it because it's some of their newer pieces so I'm not sure if they're all live yet but if they are I'll have them linked on my like to know it in the description but I first got this little I wish I got in an extra small but I never know with breastfeeding because everything's a little bit bigger postpartum and breastfeeding so I never know exactly what size to get this looks a little big but it's just a small 
cute little tank top i got some new white shorts in recently so i was like i feel like this would be really cute for just a chill like coffee date um a little tank top the material is like the material is like ribbed and really soft so i'm so excited to wear this and then um i got this little baby tee once again i wish i had gotten extra small but i got small on all these things um but this is like a perfect little fit for underneath some overalls or underneath like a spaghetti strap dress or just with some sweatpants. Super cute to throw on over a nursing bra too for a little cozy outfit. And this, I did not, like some of these are things I picked, like my picks from their line sheet. But then this, they just like surprised me with. It is so cute. These little floral pajama pants, you guys. I almost obsessed. They're so cute. The material is amazing. So soft. That's the thing with these supply is no matter how expensive it is, it's quality over quantity because I thought I heard Arlo crying, but it's Casey downstairs scrolling on Instagram watching a video, I think. But oh my gosh, it's funny how much like thinking when you hear your baby cry is like a <laughs> like weird anxiety. I'm learning to just like breathe through when he cries, but I also like want to like pick him up and take care of him when he cries. So Anyways, random anxiety mom attack, but these are so soft. I'm obsessed with the florals. I'll probably make a little like make a coffee with me morning video tomorrow in these because I'm so obsessed with them. And it came with a little like sports bra cami crop top too to go with the shorts. And I'm a big PJs girl. You guys know that. So I'm super excited to wear this. Literally, these are so soft. I'm so excited. The cutest design ever on it. It says Mother Nature is my guru it's a little bit um hippie woo woo for me i guess but i also love the design very cute so actually i might put it on over this i feel like it goes with this sweat set let's see if she looks cute with this okay so cute it's a little bit long with like the sweatpants being high-waisted but very cute i felt like kind of exposed and wearing a bra around the house anyways and filming and stuff so this is perfect a little cozy work from home outfit but I'm heating up some leftover stuff we have for tacos for lunch um and we also just got in a blue apron our meal kit subscription package in the mail so i'm so excited um for that to make some of those meals this week we love their meals and i had a lot of fun picking out meals last week because everything looked really good um but while arlo is asleep my goals are tidy up the house i want to go through our closet but that's just such a big lofty thing to do <laughs> and i'm like do i want to do that during nap time or do i want to get other stuff done i'm not sure but i really want to make arlo an easter basket as silly as it is yeah i'm gonna be that mom sorry guys it's just how it is but i have some gift cards to marshall's from stuff i need to like return from the baby shower so i think i'm gonna try to run over to marshall's and go on a quick walk because it's not raining right now we live like right across the street from marshall's so i can walk there is so why i'm saying i'm gonna walk there and it's right next to a grocery store so i'm making a friend who just had her baby this week her baby girl um and she lives right down the street from us also. I am going to make her some lactation balls with like colostrum, brewer's yeast, which is super good for milk supply, grass-fed collagen, and she likes cashew butter better than peanut butter. So I'm gonna run to the store and get some extra chocolate chips for those and cashew butter, because all I have is peanut butter, because that's why I use for my lactation balls. Um, but I'm gonna go run to Whole Foods and Marshalls, I think, to get her stuff for that anything else random little groceries we need and then stop in Marshall's and see if I see anything just like cute and small for a little Easter basket for him. My mom got him a little bunny and I feel like I just want to like make a little basket with everything and I am so excited for Easter this year just because it's his first holiday and our church does like a sunrise 7 a.m. service. I'm praying it's not rainy. I want it to be nice and such a pretty sunrise so bad and I'm just so excited to celebrate some of my family's coming into town and they live an hour away, my parents. So we might meet up with them this weekend. We're still trying to decide if we want to drive that far yet with like Arlo and everything or stay the night there or how that would work. So anyways, I'm rambling at this point, but I want to make an Easter basket and um, run over to Whole Foods to make those lactation balls. So let's go finish up making lunch, tidy up a little bit, and then run to the store lunch i took these siete frozen um taco shells made with i think almond flour or cassava flour from costco that we get i heated them up and then we had some pinto beans rice beef and chicken um mixed with like seasoning and i topped with cheese um that was our leftovers was that like beef and stuff and just put it on those tacos i would give it all the way to do it all again make a 
of a story that would never end Never thought I'd feel so alive Looking in your eyes I just wanna love you till the day I die Guys, it's a little later. I'm talking so quiet because Arlo is like in and out of sleep on the couch. We breastfed a ton and he's taking a little cat nap now while I start to make dinner. It's about five o'clock. Um, I just made some more lactation balls. These are my favorite things ever for snacking and breastfeeding. I'm having it with some raw milk for a little snacky. I mean, I'm not eating all of these. I'm like snacking on one of them. Um, but I am making a blueberry meal for dinner. So this is the meal I'm making. It is like steak, potatoes, and some veggies. I'm so excited. This sounds so good. Something about mashed potatoes just always, always hits. It's so freaking good. And Casey is obsessed with steak, and I love steak too. So I'm excited to make this. I'm going to whip it up real quick. Hopefully before Arlo wakes up, he's like in and out of sleep. So we'll see. I'll try to baby wear him while I cook. Or Casey can finish up cooking. We'll see um, while I feed him, if I need to feed him. But... I'm excited to cook because I feel like I have not been cooking a ton because we've had lots of meal train stuff, which is amazing. But I love cooking, so I love blue apron that it's already... Oh, there he is. We'll see. We'll see how cooking goes. But that it's already, like, prepped for me, like, ready to go. All I have to do is, like, wash the produce, cut it, and cook stuff. So, so easy, and it's always so good. So let's make dinner. steak looks so good. I feel like it's like the perfect amount of pink seared whatever. And then these mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't know why I'm so excited about the potatoes, but I am. But that turned out so good. I've actually already tasted everything because I always eat while I'm cooking and it's all amazing. Um, we're about to sit down and eat and I will probably breastfeed um, Arlo while we're eating because unless he stays asleep, honestly, then I guess I'll wait till after we eat when we come up to feed him um but he stayed asleep the whole time i was cooking which is amazing if you're new here we've actually used blue apron since october of last year we used them in november december over the holidays then we used them at the end of my pregnancy which was amazing and then now postpartum having like a quick easy already grocery shopped prepped meal idea is just the best thing ever postpartum because if you've been if you've had a newborn then you just know like you never know what every day is going to look like and so having blue apron already be like ready to go and then i can just cook it in 30 minutes has been the biggest gift ever and we love their meals so much they have so many fun different recipes like every single week so being a, a busy busy mama who is like trying to work manage learning how to be a mom with a newborn it has been the biggest blessing and we love their meals but i also love that i know that it's good quality ingredients i love that i can know it's sourced from good places they actually have an animal welfare policy also so like i said i just love feeling good about where the food is coming from and it's also delicious but we're gonna eat dinner and watch our show um i wanted to let you guys know that blue apron does have an offer right now where you can get 30 percent off off the first five weeks of a new subscription. If you've been wanting to hop on the train, you should hop on the train. It's linked in the description, but let's have a cozy night and enjoy these mashed potatoes that I am literally so excited for. I just want to love you. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just want to love you. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just want to
guys, it is the next day. We had a bit of a rough night last night. Arlo for sure is struggling with some colic, colickiness. It's just like three or four nights a week where he like, no matter what we do, is just like screaming. So I am probably gonna try to cut out dairy. We'll see. I texted my lactation consultant finally because I was like, okay, it's been enough days where we probably should cut something out and just mess around and see what helps. But he still slept a couple stints. It just was like the matter of getting him to go sleep was like impossible. We literally went, got in the car and like drove around because the car seat sometimes suits them. Didn't really work that well, but that's okay. Um, but we still got some sleep and this morning I'm about to take him to coffee shop, Macanoo. It's one of our favorite coffee shops here to meet my sister-in-law um, and two other friends and go on a little walk to the park, get coffee. It's gonna be a fun morning. I found this Spotify playlist that's like a bunch of baby songs and I was playing it for him while I got ready. And he actually was like really doing good with like playtime like being awake normally he's like terrible with awake windows it's either boob or sleep and that's like all because he's just been fussy but he liked the spotify playlist song so i was like maybe this is a cheat code we'll see um but anyways i'm about to load him up in the car we have already had a good long feeding this morning so hopefully he'll be happy for a little walk and then i'll feed him when we get home um but i'm wearing these really cute little pink prin princess polly overalls to show you guys I have these little cutie Princess Polly overalls on, my Nike blazers, and then this little like bandeau top. I figure will be really easy to breastfeed him in if I need to. Um, and this cardigan because it's spring, so it's like kind of chilly but kind of warm out. Anyways, so let's load the boy up and go get a coffee and go on a fun little little mom walk. nappy a little contact nap on mommy now we're going to feed i'm going to start emails at work for the day he's literally so cute so tiny and cute hey bubby do you see yourself yeah he's so grunty right now i think he's trying to poop but um i'm gonna try to get him down um feed him and get him down for a little nappy and i want to go on another little walk we just walked with people but i'm like maybe i will try to get him in the stroller after i feed him because he naps fairly well in the stroller and he kind of cat naps throughout the morning and then takes a good long nap from like 12 to 2 or it's almost 12 from like 2 to 4 ish is more like his prime nap time usually we'll see how you do today but um so i'd love to go on another sunny walk because it's really nice out and the uv is like seven so we'd love to get tan you know but we're gonna work a little bit and feed him right now yeah you excited for the milky Ooh. ginger turmeric beets lemon celery juice um this is like my go-to favorite juice recipe it is so good so fresh i'm gonna order some glass like jars on amazon to make this in like bulk like probably the full thing um and have it in the fridge because i think i've said it on here multiple times i like to have some fresh pressed juice in the morning when i first wake up it just feels so good i swear it's so good for your skin and hormones and everything and then i like to have some in the afternoon to help boost my milk supply and hydrate and everything and i also just love fresh fish juice i feel like it tastes so good it's so refreshing and it's amazing for you so it was my first time using my juicer in so long because like we moved here and i got immediately pregnant we like conceived basically the day literally the day that that was like my peak ovulation day um that we got the keys to the house so ever since we've lived in this house i was like sick and pregnant because i got sick right at five weeks so literally we had the keys for like five days and i was like sick um or Anyways, a couple weeks, whatever. But I have not used my juicer just because I was like pregnant and then obviously having him, everything's been chaotic and I just haven't used it yet. So it's good to get it back, broken back in. I'm gonna keep this in the fridge and just sip on it throughout the rest of this weekend. I also am going to make, going on a little walk and anything else that we include from this afternoon that I get clips of as a little outro to this video because I wanna vlog Easter weekend with Artho because it's his first holiday. So I was like, let's just go ahead and close this vlog out here. So I wanna do a little outro. Say thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed these random days in our life of 
learning how to be mommy. Um, I'm just so happy all the time. Really, last night when he's colicky, it really does stress me out because it's like I just can't do anything for him, and it's so hard. So. I really am going to start cutting some food groups out and just see how he responds through my breast milk like um, that way and just see how it goes. So I'll keep you guys updated if you're also on a breastfeeding journey and your baby's been like fussy, maybe we can cut stuff out together. We'll see. But I am just loving mom life though. So grateful that he's here and just can't believe I get to work from home and do social media for a living. So thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing. The channel has been growing so much and I'm just so grateful because I'm getting to work with so many fun brands and I just feel so grateful in this season that I get to be home with Arlo and do this for work. Literally so grateful. So I'm so excited to vlog Easter with Arlo. So go ahead and subscribe if you wanna be alerted whenever that video comes out because I think it's gonna be so cute. Just this first holiday, I just feel like it's so fun. So anyways, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to get back into working out, postpartum like recovery stuff, sauna, cold punch, all those things once I get cleared at six weeks. So stick around for all that content if you're interested, but thank you guys again and hope you enjoyed this video.